Okay, I wanted to go over a few uh, other topics with uh, address book. A couple few thing, um, useful features. Um, not really advanced, but they get a lot of nice stuff done. Uh, the first thing is uh, sending bulk email. Um, if you want to send an email to an entire group of people, there are a few ways to get that done. The first is to simply go to, once you have your group set up and so forth, just right click on the group and send email to that group, in this case clients, and then it pops up. Now when you'll notice that when you do this, use this method, each recipient of the email will know all of the other uh, email addresses and other recipients. So you may not want to do that. There are a couple of ways around it. One way is to go into File in the address book, File, Send Updates. Now they have loaded up default. This is my new contact information. Now you can change that to uh, whatever you like. And click the, the, the group you want to send to, in this case clients. And then we'll send this one. And you'll, that's, the, uh, that's the sound a Mac makes when it sends an email. And then we'll go look at that and see what that looks like. We have new contact information. Here it is. And what it does in this case is it includes, it includes a, what's called a V-card. Um, the VCF file is the standard way that um, information is, uh, contact information is, is, uh, is sent. And most email clients will pick it up. For example, if I wanted to send my contact information to someone, I would just get a message going and just drag my card onto the, onto the message and say, you know, here's my, here's my info, give me a call sometime, whatever it may be. So that's um, a nice way to do that. The third way to send a uh, bulk email is the st sort of the standard approach, and that is to BCC yourself. Now this field right here, you may not see it on your um, on your Mac. You click this this button here, and it and it it it, uh, it lets you customize what fields you can see. Just make sure BCC is uh, is um, clicked. That stands for blind carbon copy. So to send, so what you, what I would do here is I would send, for, I would send it to myself, and I would put the people I want to send it to. In this case, I want to send it to clients. So what I could do is, I could simply drag all of the cards. Just click on the group and then let it and then drag it into the BCC field to see how it gets black outlined, and let it go. And we'll send that one. And here's what they look like. And you see the subject, it's from Premier Law Practice. It's from me and it's to and it's uh to also to me. So that way no one knows what who got what. So those are the three ways you can send uh bulk email. Now, with the um, address book, I want to show you this. There's this idea of smart groups, and there's smart folders, and there's smart mailboxes. There's a lot of smart things on the uh, Mac, and that has to do with indexed search. The entire computer searches itself, and the whole thing is wired to uh, find anything. Um, the system-wide search is called Spotlight. That's that little um, magnifying glass here. And in here, we can type anything, and it pulls up all sorts of things. Anything that I have going on in this in this um, machine with those particular words, it will show up. Um, and then and you'll also see them inside of applications and pretty much everywhere. And this is the search address book. So if I want to say, I know there's a guy in here, George. It usually finds it with just a few keystrokes. However many it takes, it'll shuffle to it until it narrows it down. So that's a, a, a fast way to find something. That's that's. Ba that basic functionality enables all of this, all of these smart folders and smart, in this case, smart groups. Before we do that, I want to show you one cool thing about these phone numbers. If you're looking at a phone number and you want it to be bigger, you hover over it and then you click on work and large type. You can also dial the Skype. You can, if you uh, have Skype enabled, you can get that going as well. But this large type is nice, and you, you know, who the hell wants to squint looking at numbers when you can just have a nice, uh, a nice big display like that large type so getting back to the uh, smart groups you go to file and you go to new smart group 
Now, you may have your, your group set up in a certain way that makes sense, but you must also may want to tease out more information from, for example, let's say I want to, um, I want to find all the people that have a certain, say a certain phone number, say a New York phone number. And that's one of the things that you can search by. See, card contains um, the fo matches one of the following conditions. Now, it can be any of these things or others. Let's say in this case, we're going to look at the phone number. And it contains, we're going to, in this case, I'm going to make contains. It does not contain, begins with. There's a lot of stuff um, you can put in there. So let's say 212. So New York phone number pops up over here. And here are all the... Um, contacts with a New York phone number. Other possible uses of this would be um, the card itself, the address card, hasn't changed in a while. Um, it doesn't, uh, let me see, go to email, that's another one. If you have, sometimes we forget to get email addresses. Um, email is not set. So this is a smart group where email is not set. I don't have an email for, I don't have an email address for Apple dot for um for Apple. Apple of course loads up their contact information in all the address books by um by default. So that's uh the uh, you can play around with this with the smart groups and you can probably you can get pretty creative with it and it could be uh, pretty helpful. Now one thing I want to mention is that when we're collecting information, usually we just get a phone number. Um, and we're starting to get email addresses, but I highly recommend you, you know, try to get URLs, try to get uh, web addresses, because once you have them in your address book, when you go to Safari, here's Safari here, you go to Preferences, Safari Preferences, and then you go, now these are the different panes and so forth, make sure you go to the bookmark one, and Make sure this is checked. Include address book. What it'll do is it'll all of the address, all the URLs in your address book will show up as a handy list right on your bookmarks um, bar in Safari. So here's here is all um, all the URLs in mine. Here's me, and I put my my blog that offset this site in there and get right to it that way. So that's nice, and you can you know as most people have uh, websites. And most people appreciate it if you look at them, and maybe you can uh, you know you can periodically uh, check through uh, check out what your clients are up to and what your uh, what your colleagues are up to, and just uh, have a nice little list there you can peruse through uh, whenever you see fit. So those are a few topics of uh, about address book that I wanted to show up. Actually, there's one more I wanted to quickly go over is. Sharing an address book. This is useful for, let's say you have a few lawyers in your office and you have a bank of information, a bank of contacts that you want to, that you want to um, be that have centralized for whatever reason, judges, you know, people, um, investigators, or, or whomever really that you that you experts or whatever that you use often. You want to share that information with your entire office, have it all centralized in one place. What you can do is you go to address book preferences. And then you go over to sharing. And you see this one I share with I'm sharing with myself. To get a new one in there, you simply go through your, your contacts and you may you know you have to have your of course create a contact for your uh, the person you're gonna share with and you click them and and they also have to have a mobile me account, of course, for this to work. And then you send the invitation, and then what happens is and you can also allow them to edit it or not, what will happen is once they accept the invitation, on the in their uh, address book on their Mac, they will have the information um, down here as a series of groups. It'll be the main group, the main uh, title of the um, address book, and then the individual group set up. So those are a bunch of cool things that you can do with address book, and I hope you take advantage of it.